Alright people, welcome back to the video. Welcome to a new series. Y'all seem to enjoy the one play games I play, so I figured, you know what, let's try this one. Someone asked me to play. Here we go. Now, this is the only game I've seen where when it loads up, it gives you a warning saying that it's a narrative game and it is meant to be played in a dark room wearing headphones. So, we have a dark room and I'm wearing headphones. Hopefully this is going to be some scary shit. Anyway. I have no idea what I'm getting into. I've never seen a game warn me before that the game is meant to test your psychic sanity, your alertness, your awareness, and all this other stuff it said, and I was just like, damn, this should be interesting. So, without further ado, let's get on with it. I haven't started it. What? I haven't got a save file. Okay, that's, that's, that's different. Oh, okay, so that bit I just read was the start. Here we are. See, look, during the course of gameplay, the part manipulate graphics or audio control settings for your sonny. What? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Some crazy ass stuff. So what, what the hell was wrong with that screen then if that, this was the start? <sighs> I suppose we'll find out, folks. Anyway, as usual, welcome to the video. It's your boy, Double D, Drunk Dragon. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And all that good stuff that goes with it. So, I have no idea what to expect at all. If any of you all have ever played this and you know it's like creepy and scary, don't be giving me away, giving it away in the comments. Let me get scared. I love scary games. I love getting... Ugh. Let's see. Funcom presents. In my heart and mind, I always return ah, to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car, and go and ask information. Okay, so we gotta go and ask information. Okay, so the buttons Attention, don't do patrons. anything. The park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. information what? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. And think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop. I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Wait for mommy, Callum! Catch me, mommy! Callum, I told you to wait in the car! Over here! There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. A line drawn between the real world and the world of whimsy within. On this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Park. 
What happened here? Callum! It looks destroyed and deserted. It's easy to get lost here. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. There he is. Come back. This game is just weird. Stop, Callum. Where are you? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add whatever Art Jensen did to the locals. To mention his name, people slamming doors and sh Ooh. Damn. Oh my god. Old man Henderson did terrible things. The land remembers, sir. Huh. Perfect. Atlanta. Okay, so. The part was bought out. It's no longer Henderson's. Callum. Tell mommy where you are. Come on, mommy. Come out, sweetie. I don't even know where this kid is. Come on, this are you? Callum, stay where you are. Where is he? I haven't spotted him. Don't hide from me, Callum. Come on, Mommy. Stop, Callum. Time to get on the boat. Okay, looks like we're riding the swan ride next, folks. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, if this ain't creepy enough, it just got creepier. Callum, where are you? This game is weird. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. Great, the they story of Hansel and Gretel. And had very little to bite or suck. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel. Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. This game really makes me listen to the story Hansel and Grell. The children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread 
and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. This is not the Hansel and Gretel I remember. The mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents and what the hell is this game? The, trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. The children Why am I putting this up? Why am I still on this house? game? Its walls were made of Whoever told me to play this game? Windows were, panes were you just like, you know, sugar. taking the piss Hansel, out of me or something? Desperately hungry, Was this a cruel joke? And began to nibble on the walls. All I gotta say is this game's gotta get better than this. <laughs> this has to be better. my house an old woman emerged from the house sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes oh you dear children who brought you here just come in and stay with me no harm will come to you but Hansel and Gretel stayed back for the old woman reminded them no, nope, I have to just keep mother. riding this piece of thing. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and still licking their sweets, follow. What is this game? Do you know it's one of those games for it? What the hell? Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Into a cage and put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, what is going I shall on? feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat, the fearing the day that the please, witch would please, eat him. Please. The witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. Who the hell? But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, the opening is here, and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. What sort of children's then, ride is this? Because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch the and hell? ate her. This game is twisted. 
tell you, it's twisted. Oh, see the two. Where's the sun? I'm still not met the sun. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. What was that swan ride all about? Please don't turn around again, Mr. Swan. Please let me off this ride. Please stop. Thank you. What the hell was that about? Stop hiding, Callum! Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest. The birds. The old witch. Even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister. Hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry. Looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. Okay, that does not explain what the hell is going on. Why did you swim run into the park in Stop, the first Callum! Place? Another accident. Said, quack, this quack, place. Quack, quack. Despite the constant interruptions to the West Atlantic Park will be open on time. The gun is about to cut the ribbon. The only real question is, will we have any customers? I'm not truly worried the customers will come out of the simple curiosity I dedicated. What was needed from the bad writings of Archie Anderson. I will not make his mistakes very soon. I will know if this has all been for nothing. Oh dear. Oh my god, teddy bear stabbed. What the hell? Who killed Teddy Bear? Ooh. Alan, where did you go? This way, mommy. Think I'm going the right way. This is some creepy ass part. Please, Callum, tell me where you are. Stay where you are. What is wrong with this kid? Why would you want to run around in the middle of the night? Oh no. Callum! This is creepy stuff. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Some freaky ride, folks. Come to mommy, Callum. <laughs> this is one freaky ass park. Come out, sweetie. Okay, so good, we don't have to ride that thing. I'm sure the fact that the plan seemed incomplete. I know as well as anybody the rules of the game can be changed without enough money, but no matter how much money it takes, it can't conjure up missing plans from Venere. 
I tried to contact the Ignatian sober these plans. Uh, they are still with me. Every contact I've had, every meeting place I've swept into, I've seen you from him that I have been swindled. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Okay, so this is not good, bud. Come back. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so no, I don't Wait have to go mommy. on this, do I? Really? Oh. oh, screw it, let's ride it. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay. Let's see what creepy stuff this has installed for us. Is this this isn't a game, Callum. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, what red, falling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there. And so far from my expectations, and they shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Okay. I thought working the part of some would be a lot of fun, but and the season here really drags. Uh. Where did you go? Uh. Oh. 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 Where are you? Callum, come back here right now. Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack. Okay, that 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 Callum, was some stay where you are. Creepy stuff. Callum, what was where that? Where did you go? This way, mommy. Mommy needs to see you, Callum. Okay, folks. I think we are going to end our journey there. I think this is where we're going to be not going next. Not playing anymore, Callum. So, uh. 
Yeah. I don't know what to do about this game, don't know how to describe it, just like, follow, and subscribe, and all that good stuff that goes with it. I mean, the hell was that? Peace out, people. Peace.